Welcome back to CBS3 Eyewitness News at 10 o'clock. To the latest now in the war in Ukraine. Shelling continues in parts of Ukraine despite Russia's claims that it will pull back its military. Today, President Biden pledged to provide over $500 million to the government of Ukraine. Over 4 million people have fled Ukraine since the invasion began, creating a massive refugee crisis. Stay with Fiber News for continuing coverage on the help for Ukraine. You can scan the QR code. It will take you to a list to cbsphilly.com. Shocking diagnosis is forcing the New Jersey native named Bruce Willis as he steps away from acting. He's being diagnosed with a serious disease entitled aphasia. I think I said it right. And with that being said, it is very, very serious. Believe me, I know what I'm talking about. Now, the last time we saw Bruce Willis was in Cop Out with Tracy Morgan. And also Die Hard and the Sixth Sense movie as well. Now Will Smith is going to leave the Oscars despite the fact that he slapped Chris Rock on stage. The Academy declined to give its specifics to remove the actor, even though he did win an Oscar award for his role for King Richard. CBS3 takes you to Boston, Massachusetts as Chris Rock told the audience what happened. And we'll talk about that slap at some time, according to CNN. CNN is being owned by Ted Turner. Well, a calm and chilly night right now on this Wednesday evening, but we are tracking some severe weather for Thursday. Meteorologist Kate Barlow, my auntie, has it all. Her seven-day forecast is coming up in a matter of moments. Auntie Kate, take it away. So this south wind is going to be drawing in lots of warm, moist air overnight and into tomorrow. You will really feel the difference outside tomorrow, a much milder day. But that said, it's not a very nice day. Right now, temperatures are in the 40s in most spots. Again, much warmer than recent nights. But we are watching, again, the strong cold front moving in from the west. So warm front came through earlier today. That's what brought the cloud cover mid-afternoon. And then here's the cold front. It is an ongoing severe weather outbreak with multiple tornado warnings across parts of Alabama and Mississippi now. These warnings have followed this line. It has not really weakened much at all since about 4 o'clock this afternoon when it was moving into Mississippi, now moving across Alabama, and the threat will continue into the overnight. The threat does diminish a little bit for us tomorrow, mainly thanks to the cloud cover and the scattered showers that will be in place out ahead of it, but there will be the risk for severe storms in the evening. So tonight, 43, partly cloudy. Temperatures will gradually warm up toward daybreak. And tomorrow's a mild day. Clouds, a few breaks of sun, maybe a couple of showers early. But it's in the evening, especially after 5 or 6 o'clock, that the threat for thunderstorms really gets underway. By the way, it's been a very warm March. We've had six days in the 70s so far. Tomorrow could make it day 7. That would be an entire week of 70-degree days. In March, our average 70-degree days in March, just two. So the severe weather threat breaking this down. Strong thunderstorms rolling across the region. The window is about 5 p.m. to midnight, depending on location, 5 p.m. far to the west. Likely around 8 or 9 in the city, although the timing could shift a bit either direction. Winds could gust to 60 miles an hour, and while damaging winds will be the far and away the greatest risk, there is the possibility for an isolated tornado or two, just a, likely a quick, weak spin-up tornado, but still very, very dangerous when those occur. So tomorrow, here's noon, you can see some showers breaking out to the north and west, a lot of cloud cover. There may be some breaks in the cloud cover in the afternoon, but then by about 5 or 6 o'clock, this line starts to move in, and don't discount these storms that fire up out ahead of it either. Could be some strong thunderstorms down the shore around 6 or 7. The line moves through 
through the city right here at about 9 o'clock. Damaging winds are likely, and then it does start to fizzle by this time tomorrow night. So greatest risk, strong winds and lightning, but there is the potential for some severe hail as well as an isolated tornado. So your eyewitness weather seven-day forecast. After that alert day tomorrow, April starts on a much quieter note. Look at next Tuesday. The high is going to be 67. Very nice and dry. Man, I just love springtime. It's my favorite season. All right, thanks, Auntie Kate. Up next is the sports report. As Villanova heads to the Big Easy, otherwise known as New Orleans. A live look at the Italian market on this Wednesday evening. Even though you see those two cars right there, I wish they would be joining together. But I'm more important to be curious if they were, well, you know, stuck together. So anyway, stay tuned, everybody. We're coming right back. <laughs> 